ready for this trophy lift? Oh, I'm ready, don't you worry. Rodri stepping up. Why don't you try and get involved in it? No. <laughs> oh, no. He let Big Meeks in, won't he? I mean, you started all this. He was in. He's thinking about it. He's he thinking. <laughs> yeah, stay here. Go See what like go, this. Go, go. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> he can go full John Terry. Get the kit on. Where's the kit? <laughs> These are incredible scenes, aren't they? Without that first Premier League title that you were involved in, yeah. all this doesn't come afterwards. I mean, we were the start of it, I would like to say. Oh. You know, with a contribution to something, but you can't take it away from what these guys have done. This has been absolutely tremendous. Come on, okay, take us to Clive. I'm gonna, for the moment, we're gonna go over to Rob Green and Clive Tildesley. It's difficult to draw a treble parallel with uh, American Team Sport Europe's major football clubs compete on several different fronts each season, home and abroad. To line up all the ducks in one year is desperately difficult. It's like a, a grand slam in golf or tennis, like the triple crown that finishes at Belmont Park today. Only seven clubs have completed this triple crown before tonight. Only one English club, the Manchester United of 1999. Has Manchester City been building to this? Quarter finalist six years in a row semi-finalists the last three years, beaten finalists two years ago. Pep Guardiola came to the club with his own Champions League pedigree, but he's always insisted that City needed to gain their own, always insisted there are no shortcuts, no quick fixes, not even him. You've got to set up base camps before you can make an assault on the summit. And tonight, the long climb has reached the top. Tonight, they get to put their flag on the very pinnacle of the European game. Tonight, a trophy is theirs. I think there'll be a relief mixed into the joy, the glee, the dizzy delight we've seen from Micah. The expectations have been growing year on year, inside and outside Manchester City. When, not if. David Silva didn't make it, Sergio Aguero didn't make it. Yaya Turi didn't make it, couldn't keep their reservations. One or two of this team must have started a one or two. But the English champions, the FA Cup winners, and now the crowning glory, the Champions League, the three steps to Manchester City's blue heaven. 2023 is the year of the City Treble. The champions of England are the champions of Europe too. City have caught up with their destiny. Pep Guardiola has found the formula again and delivered on all that promise, all that style, all that glitter he's brought to Manchester City, all that grit that they brought with them tonight. And tonight they have turned it into gold, pure gold. And next year, the Champions League final is in England. Wow, we! What a moment! Nobody's here with me. Everybody left. To, to, Thierry, you're still here. But you haven't got your microphone in hand. You're not talking to me. Yet. But we did enjoy the moment together. Micah Richards. Oh my! I can't believe it. The man who believed it would happen, but wasn't really sure it would happen. No, you always wanted to but happen. But dreamed. And you, and you look at this team and you think they've got more, you know, they're more than capable of winning it. Jamie said for years, Man City are the best team in Europe. But on certain days, they've not turned up. And today, they turned up. I don't care how they won it. You know, you've got to give Inter credit. I thought it was absolutely excellent in the way they approached the game. They lacked the quality in the final third. But that one moment from Rodri, sent them to dreamland and dreams become reality and this team certainly deserve it look at the Did you write that before the time show? for losers <laughs> we the, oh the vocals are coming down at night <laughs> hey serious question i know you're close to a lot of these guys right but is there anyone particularly on this team that you're just particularly pumped for Grealish. Because Grealish and, and, and Foden. Foden for coming through the academy, winning the Premier League, winning the FA Cup. But this is the one he's won everything at the age of 22 
it's it's staggering to see. But I was closer with, with Jack Grealish coming from Villa. And it was more the, the price tag, to be honest, Kate. Everyone's talking about it costs too much, it can't fit into the system, but he found a way to fit into this system. And when I spoke to him just then, like I said, he, he wasn't smiling and laughing, he was emotional, it was his real tears. To win your treble or in, in his second season at Man City, what more, where do you go from here? He's reached the pinnacle, he's reached ecstasy. What more can he possibly do? And he goes down, and this team goes down as legendary status. Wow. You went, you, I mean, you've been part of this Manchester City project, right? It's been a project since it was bought by the Abu Dhabi group. What, how excited do you feel about having played a role in the growth of this team to be where it is now as possibly the biggest football club in the world? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to give myself credit for that, but having been someone who's been here for since the age of, uh, of 14, seen the, the club grow, we had one part of investment from uh, Shinawatra didn't work out. And then when the Abu Dhabi lock came in, I spoke to Ke uh, Khaldun, and he said this was happen. He said it would happen a little bit earlier. Within four years, they won the Premier League. That is staggering. They won the FA Cup the year before, and now they've won the, the, the Champions League. So to see the steps, but it's not only winning it, it's how they're winning it. You know, Pep, this coach, the way he plays football, the way he sees ideas, and it's way, it's implemented by the players as well. And to see him doing so well, it's just a joy to watch, it really is. Can, can we get Micah a glass of water or something oh. as well? That'd be great. I'm choking, I'm choking up. Dry! I'm choking up. Woo! Wow. Uh, Jamie, I, I mean, from your perspective, Manchester City, what Micah said, it's the way they're doing things as well, right? Particularly that semi-final that we were in Manchester for, that was a spectacular performance. Do you think we now see potentially a, a new era of dominance of Manchester City in Europe? Yes, 100%. I think that's a real worry for the rest of Europe. The big thing they need to do is just win the first one. You know, whether that's like whether you're going for a Premier League title, Champions League, whatever it may be, once you've won that first one, it takes the pressure off going into next season. They'll never have that thrown at them. Pep Guardiola will never be asked in a press conference, are you going to overthink it? Can you win it? Can you get over that hurdle? So, yes, they may not win it next season, but it won't be through a lack of sort of not holding their nerve because they've now won it. And, yeah, when I actually look at the competition in Europe, there's always new teams, new players coming. But right now, I think Manchester City are a level above everybody else. And they were nowhere near the best tonight, but they still won the game. Look, I'm going to go back to, to, to what you were saying and what you said about, about what you've been told. When Pep Guardiola arrived at Man City, I said to every, everybody around me, be careful, it's going to be a wrap soon. Very soon. And I remember at the time I was working in England and I used to say to everybody when Pep finished fourth, I said he's going to win the league like that by playing out from the back. And everyone said to me, he can't. Hello. Hello. He just did. <laughs> with a treble and I said when he was going to come to all my friends it's over and it is by the way the route here wasn't easy for this team either Leipzig in the round of 16 Bayern in the quarterfinals Real Madrid in the semi-finals there were stumbling blocks there that Real Madrid game was a game for the ages that will yeah. be a game that everyone will always remember Pep Guardiola for in this Man City team when we think of this treble I think that's the game that will just come straight to the forefront of your mind the European champions absolutely played them off the park they couldn't absolutely get near them I mean it was absolutely tremendous it really was and I what Thierry just said there about Pep Guardiola this guy has changed football he has he changed it with his Barcelona team he's now changed it with Manchester City team doing different things the guy is an absolute genius